Welcome back guys to another video. Today's video I do have one box to one box right here. Um, this is going to be a Funko Pop I got off of eBay. And uh, judging by the title, this is the one I've been looking for uh, for over a year now. Um, it's pretty much, it's, it's a pop that it's probably, it was in my top definitely probably three there uh, for a while. And uh, the reason why I pretty much didn't pay for it or buy it till now was because I knew it would go down eventually a little in value. Um, let me just tell you, it was a ex Target exclusive pop that was... Uh, only released, I think, twice. I think one time, then a little bit of a restock. Uh, went up to about forty dollars in value at one point, and just, I just, I, I couldn't justify paying that. It was one of these pops that you know I would tell my girlfriend of all, you know, I, I was one, you know, I would always be like, you know, can you get me this, this, and that? I'd tell even my parents, like whenever my dad and I were out Funko Pop, you know, looking around, or he asked me if there was one I wanted, you know, I'd tell him that. Of course, he's not going to find it in a store, but. Just in general, is always one of those that I would just pretty much just really want for my collection. Um, it's, it's a dope looking pop, and it is also a mix of one of my favorite characters um, that isn't a Star Wars character. So let's hope this came in good condition. Uh, let's see. Um, it's looking promising. Let's see, guys. So it is the Venomized Loki. Um, right here. So let's take a quick peek and see what the value, or uh, not the value, the uh, condition on this guy is. Um, came in a nice little box. Uh, pretty, pretty well protected. I mean, not the all-time best, but um, let's see, guys. This looks fucking incredible in person. I've literally been wanting this for so long. It does have a little bit of a window crease right there. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, right there. Um, not the end of the world. Uh, the front side, all four corners are good. Um, this does have a little bit of a tear right there. Not the end of the world as well. A little bit of the back's not the, the best, I guess, up here. Um, but other than that, the sides and the bottom. I mean, you can't go wrong. Again, I got this guy for, I want to say, $24 shipped. I think I paid $21. Or no, or did I? I think it was $21 shipped. Let me see. I think it was 8 I think I best offered him down to 18 bucks and it was like three dollars and 66 cent shipping so no more than about 22 dollars for this guy and again he still goes for about 30 bucks all day like i could probably flip this right now and get my 30 dollars shipped you know i would only make a couple bucks i'm not gonna do that you know either way but just for the deal i got you know it's it's definitely a pretty good deal i got him for about maybe i mean honestly got five dollars if not ten dollars under the market value right now so Again, that's pretty much all for this video, guys. I've got a couple more Funko Pops coming in. I've got another Funko Pop that I've been wanting for, uh, I mean, basically a year, if not two years, ever since I kind of first started collecting Funko Pops. It is a 2013 uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. I paid, let's just, I'll tell you the value. I paid $65 shipped. So if that tells you anything, I did get it for about $20, $30 under value. Um, or under market value so if that gives you guys any hints other than that though guys uh and again the only one i need out of this set now aside for the uh marvel collector core box venom is the ghost rider but uh let's just say guys i might also have the ghost rider coming in so you guys will see that in the video as well so yeah well, thank you guys all for watching please don't like comment and subscribe stay tuned for see you guys later bye